Welcome to the Methodology Institute's and Vivo video tutorial series sponsored by the LSE Annual Fund. In this tutorial I will show you how to create relationships. Relationships are a type of node and they can be found in the Relationships folder within your Nodes folder. They are a useful way of describing links between your project items. If you think, for example, that two of your nodes are related, you can create a relationship to link them together. Relationships are defined by their type and their direction. For example, in the volunteering project, the three node contexts and the three node images of volunteers are linked together with the relationship type impacts. In other words, contexts have an impact on images of volunteers. This is a one-way relationship as shown in the direction of the arrow. And Vivo allows you to have three types of directions. Apart from one way, you can have associative relationships or symmetrical relationships. Because relationships are nodes, they can contain coding. For example, the relationship context's impact on images of volunteers contains two references. If you double-click on the relationship in the list view, you can see the coded extracts in the detail view. To code an extract at a relationship, you need to follow the same process as with any other type of node. To create a new relationship using an existing relationship type, highlight the relationship folder, click the new button and select relationship in this folder. Select which project items you want to link together. For example, the free node Court and Force Community Service and the free node Motivation. Select the type of relationship, for example, Decreases and click OK. The new relationship will then be displayed in the list view. To create a new relationship type, in the navigation view, click on the classifications folder and select relationship types. In the list view, you can see the different relationship types and their direction. Click the new button and select relationship type in this folder. The new relationship type dialog box will be displayed. You will need to provide a name, for example, increases, and a direction for your new relationship type. For example, this would be a one-way relationship. When you click OK, the new relationship type will be created and displayed in the list view.